Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Joe. You ready to do this? I am. Let's go. Let's do this. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Good morning, Ray. You're home door for us. Thank you. Hey, Ray. Let's get the show started. Let's go. Hi, I'm Karen. And I'm Joe. And welcome to What's, What's Happening. Happening. And today, <laughs> Karen is going to show you how to use Background Eraser. Really cool app, let me tell you. Before you spend like money, money, lots of money on uh, Photoshop, just to be able to crop out the the, transfer, uh, the the outlines of an image, so you can just use the image and not the background. Mm -hmm. Cool 99 cent app that you can use. And so Karen's gonna show you how to quickly get those images and erase the outlines and make it look snazzy for your digital stories. And which are not limited just to writing or reading apps, but also for any subject, math, science, social studies, et cetera, et cetera. So here's Karen. Thanks, Joe. As Joe was mentioning, Background Eraser is the app that we're going to cover today. And you might be thinking, well, Background Eraser, that doesn't sound really exciting. And why in the world would I want to do that, to erase the background? Well, when you're creating in the classroom, sometimes you'll draw just one character. And you want to just use that character with the, the, without the huge white background uh, for maybe your PowerPoint or your keynote. Maybe you're actually um, illustrating a story, and you're going to actually create a digital story and you don't want that big white background there. So how do you cut that white background out and just uh, bring the attention in on that one character that you've illustrated so that your story will really pop? Um, I'm going to share with you an app called Background Eraser and I'll give you a little previous uh, background if you check out my iPad here. Um, we used an app called Hello Crayon in a previous episode. We just uh, recorded. So check that one out if you want a little information about that. But within this free app, I went ahead and illustrated a picture of a frog. Okay. And now I'm going to use background eraser to erase that background so that I can use it um, in EduCreations, which Joe is going to share with you in our third episode. So here it's very easy. It's actually on its side here, but notice there's load eraser, save. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the load button and it'll, it'll actually bring in or ask to access my pictures on my camera roll. And you can see here that I've already illustrated my frog. So here's my frog. There he is. In fact, I think I'm going to just go ahead and rotate this so it makes a little more sense. There we go. Now we're upside down. Let's see if I can take off my lock rotation. And it doesn't work well. OK, so we're just going to look at a sideward, sideway frog. OK, so it automatically tells you can go ahead and crop your image. So I like to crop it, get anything extra out of there. And then you'll see done right over here on the edge. OK, you have the eraser button, which is really nice because it's going to, whatever you tap on, it'll go ahead and erase for you. So I can click Erase. And you're going to notice now the whole white background disappeared. Now, if it doesn't, if you have some additional things on the bottom, you're going to notice here that you have some ways that you can repair or manually erase. So I can actually click here on Manual and manually erase, like I'll erase the background here of my frog, right? Um, there's also an Undo, so I can take away that manual erase, just in case it didn't get a portion that I wanted to erase. There's also a Repair if you need and Zoom in. So a nice little feature is if you're getting really, really you know, technical and, and <laughs> you want to perfect that image. But I usually don't have to go that far. Click the Done button here and finish erasing the background. Three is Save. So I want to go ahead and save this and save it to my camera roll. And now I have a frog with a very clear background that I can use in an app like EduCreations for digital storytelling. Of course, if I took that frog and also added it to my website as maybe a button so that someone could click on the frog and it would link to maybe a story about a frog or a story a student wrote about a frog, it would be just a beautiful green frog with no white background. So that's the neat thing about this 99 cent app is that you can erase a background very easy, just a little click, a little touch, and you can use your own illustrations um, when creating your digital stories. Uh, remember that you can follow the EPISD TV studio on Facebook and on Twitter. We'd love to hear your feedback and maybe some suggestions as well. Um, you can actually subscribe to our EPISD TV studio. Our show is called What's Happening on our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us.
for this episode of What's Happening. And don't forget to tune in for the third episode in this series where Joe is going to share digital storytelling with EduCreations and how we combined the app Hello Crayon and Background Eraser to create a digital storytelling project. <laughs> Look something similar to this. Uh, yeah, several pieces of jewelry, right?